When we first started shooting this project, they didn't want us going anywhere without somebody right by our side. For good reason, because it was a very dangerous place with some of the most hardened criminals in Thailand. About two years ago, I came across this story about a prison in Thailand that allowed inmates to fight for their freedom. I sent an email to that prison fight account every day for six months. Heard nothing. So I decided to just fly to Thailand and meet with these guys. We took the prison director out to golf. We went out to dinner with him and his other officers. Even though there was a language barrier, we found a way to bond with him. And as he understood the story that we were going to tell better, he started giving us more access. But it took a while to build that trust. We were filming in extreme conditions, 110 degree heat, in the alleys with drug dealers. And we stepped into a prison with 4,000 inmates and only 10 guards to protect us. And we met the most violent of the most violent people, people that were rapists, people that were murderers, people that were drug addicts. But at the end of the day, the most compelling person was Noi. He had the most at stake. He had a son that he hadn't seen in five years, and he had a promising Muay Thai career before he went to prison. He had everything to lose. Noi has been chosen to participate in a new rehabilitation program called Prison Fight. If he wins, then he gets his freedom. If he loses, he has to finish the rest of his sentence. It's more than just the fighting. It's the whole rehabilitation of their mind, their body, their spirit, and hopefully, that can bring some freedom, not only getting out of the prison, but within their own body and mind. When we got to fight night, the energy was electric. The gamblers all showed up, fired up, doing their hand signals. Prison fight has their own set of matchmakers. They match up these foreigners who have a professional record with prison fighters. I could open the gate for him to be free, or I can shut it. Regardless of what happens, I shouldn't make it easy for him. When Noi took the stage, there were a lot of cheers. There were also a lot of boos. I do respect the fact that they're willing to give somebody a second chance. This was the climax of Noi's life. What was compelling to me about this story was that on the surface, it looks like an action film, you know, a real blood sport. But when you start peeling back the layers, you realize that it's a character-driven story about a father seeking redemption.